also speaking of clowns, I believe you're gonna have you have a segment for us tonight where you've I gone beach do. combing. I do. I'm going beach combing now. This particular um, fish, I had to do the clown fish, but um, I am not in tropical waters right now or anything where I can see them. Um, so I'm using some clips from uh, an aquarium that I went to, but uh, I hope you enjoy. Here's the clip. Send in the clowns. Let's talk about the adorable, colorful, and acrobatic fish known as the clownfish. Three to seven inches in length, clownfish are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and meat. Their diet is mostly zooplankton, algae, and food left over by a sea anemone. That's the place they call their home. They live in schools dominated by a female clownfish. Did you know clownfish are born male? When a female clownfish dies, the next largest male permanently changes into a female. How cool is that? The female can have up to 1,000 eggs per spawning. Now back to their homes, the anemone. Talk about a fantastic symbiotic relationship. In exchange for housing, clownfish scare away predators, remove parasites and leftover food from the plants. The clownfish droppings provide nutrients to them. The sea anemones are given way better circulation because the clownfish fan their fins while swimming around too. Anemones have nematocysts or harpoon-like stingers on their tentacles that they use this to capture prey and ward off predators. But the clownfish has a high tolerance to them along with a thick mucus layer that protects them. Plus smartly, they don't try to eat their way out of house and home. Until next time, explore, learn, love the adventure. <laughs>